hi welcome to garden hauling so in today's video i'm gonna plant some bulbs now i don't know if you like me sometimes you go out and you buy plants you have no idea where you want to plant them so that's the predicament that i'm in right now i bought some bulbs i knew i wanted to plant them i knew i liked them but i have no clue as to where i want to plant them so to solve that problem i'm going to plant them in containers and that way when they bloom out i can see exactly what they look like place them around my garden and see you know if that's a good spot for them and then i'll plant them in the ground so with that being said let me show you the first one i'm going to plant so i'm going to plant four different types the first one is a snowdrop it is gorgeous it is compatible for zones three through eight it is a perennial and it gets to be about three to four inches in height can't wait to see that and now look at it it's, it looks like a light it's got a green top to the petals that droop down like a bell and then if you look on the inner part of the petals there's some more green on the inside so it is just absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to see it grow now this plant likes uh, well draining soil and it likes full sun to partial shade. The next bulbs I'm gonna plant are the tulips and these are called the angeliques. So I planted 10 of the snowdrops and this time I'm gonna plant 12 of these tulips. And as you can see, they are beautiful, pink, multi-layered flowers. Very fragrant, fragrant. They get to be about 12 to 18 inches in height they are zoned for zones two to eight. They do like full sun to partial shade, just like the snowdrops. Now these, I can't say that they're perennials, but they do have the propensity to become perennials. And a lot of it depends on the spot that you pick. Sometimes some of the tulips can peter out over time, but they can come back every year. So it just depends on if you pick a good spot to where you want to plant them. So that's one of the things that I'm going to have to figure out as to where I want to plant them at. So the next bulbs I'm going to plant are called the Narcissus. So I have six of these. People commonly refer to them as daffodils. They grow to be about 14 to 16 inches in height. They are compatible for zones 2 to 10. They like well-draining soil. They are double petaled. As you can see, they are just beautiful. They have these pale white petals with delicate yellow color in the middle. And they will come back every year. So they are perennial. So at the end of the growing season, just allow them to die back uh, naturally and they will come back. They like well draining soil and they like um, full to partial sun. So I can't wait to see these grow. So the last one I'm going to plant are called the hyacinths. And let me show you. These are the hyacinths and they are perennials as well. They only bloom once a year, but they are compatible for zones two through 10. They like full sun to partial shade. They are deaf blue in color and they have a blue star mix. They grow to a height of 10 to 12 inches. So I'm gonna plant seven of the hyacinths. So I really wanna stress that when you plant your bulbs, you wanna really read the containers because some of them require different planting depths than the other ones do. So some may say plant them to a planting depth of five inches, some may say three inches. So just read the box on the planting instructions and be sure that you plant them at the required depth so that all your bulbs will come up and you won't be left wondering why they didn't come up. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started planting them. And when you plant the bulbs, you wanna make sure you plant them pointy side up. So, you know, you guys, I love bulb tone. I think it's such an excellent fertilizer and I find that it helps my bulbs to get off to a good start. But you can use any bulb fertilizer that works just as well. Now, I wanted to show you a bulb and you will plant this part of the bulb will face the dirt. So you want to plant it with the pointed side up because this is where it's going to start sprouting. So you just put it in the soil and just mash it down a little bit. and you're good to go. 
So at this point, I like to just sprinkle some of the bulb fertilizer onto the top of my soil. And I like to do this before I start planting my bulbs. And you know, that way I can mix it in and I know that my bulbs are getting off to a good start. You can also, after you sprinkle your fertilizer into your soil, you can just water it in before you plant your bulbs. Or you can wait and just water everything at the very end. And that's what I like to do. When I get all the bulbs planted, I just go back and water everything. So let me get started and I'll show you how I do it. That's it for today's video thanks for joining me and i'll see you on the next one bye bye